Hey, well, hi everyone. Welcome to today's webinar, where we're really pleased that you could be joining us, where we'll be speaking to you today about fabrication trifecta workflows. My name is Michael Bredenkamp, and I am the Strategic Account Manager for Modern Air Infrastructure and the Construction and MEP space, and I'll be co-hosting the session today. Over the last few weeks, we've been running a series of webinars based on the MEP industry disciplines, where we, we've incorporated workflows, processes that have included collaboration utilizing Revit, AutoCAD MEP, BIM, and the different fabrication tools. We'll also be hosting a few master classes in the upcoming weeks, where we're going to be going deep into the advanced workflows and capabilities of the MEP discipline, as well as the fabrication workflows. Um, if you have seen or missed any of our previous webinars, please feel free to go to our website where you can access all of the webinars that we've been running across all our different disciplines. This webinar is going to be recorded. It will be sent to you in the next uh, day or two uh, to recap on what we've actually covered today. And if you'd like to share it with any of your colleagues who weren't able to attend, please feel free to do so. You'll also be able to go to our website or our YouTube channel where all our recordings will be hosted. I will be putting the links into the Q&A. So please feel free to touch on those to get access to the information. If you have any questions during this webinar, please post your questions or comments in the Q&A box and one of our technical support assistants will be able to answer it for you during the webinar or we'll be having a Q&A session right at the end. If you have any questions after the webinar, please feel free to give me a shout or drop me an email. I will also post my details in the link. And obviously for those who are joining us for the very first time, welcome. Now I'd like to introduce you to today's presenter, Nsako. Nsako is one of modern AEC's application engineers whose specialized skills are in the mechanical field, HVAC, and fire protection. His skills include Revit MEP, AutoCAD, as well as the Autodesk fabrication products. He says a specialized skill of his is that he can look at someone without hearing them speak a single word and tell where they're actually from. Hmm, interesting, Nsako. So without any more delays, let's get started. Nsako, over to you. Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to our Moderna MEP Fabrication Series Part 2, uh, Fabrication Trifecta Workflow. Uh, I'd just like, before we go anywhere, I'd just like to basically introduce my team. It's Michael Bredkam who was talking just now. He's the Infrastructure, Construction and MEP Strategic uh, Accounts Manager. And then we've got Dino Kapic, who is an uh, AEC uh, Applications Engineer. And then we've got myself, an Applications Engineer in MEP. Uh, we'll, get, we'll just jump right into it. Um, we'll start off with the introduction to fabrication. Um, basically, the Autodesk fabrication products help extend building information modeling workflows in mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. Specifically, uh, specialized contractors for uh, designing, estimating, and fabrication, ductwork, pipework, electrical, uh, containment and other mechanical systems used in building. These products use manufacturer specific content to generate better estimate. Its estimates create a more accurate detailing and direct drive to MEP fabrication. Uh, just to continue on the introduction, uh, the uh, Autodesk fabrication products include Autodesk fabrication CAD MEP, Autodesk Fabrication EST MEP, and Autodesk Fabrication CAM DUCT. Additional software tools also come with these products to increase productivity throughout fabrication design, detailing, review, and fabrication workflows. So the main focus is for today's webinar. So uh, first and foremost, uh, we're going to talk about how to draw in fabrication CAD MEP. Then the next step will be to uh, export to Fabrication STMEP and Fabrication CAM Duct. Then we're going to be showcasing Fabrication CAM Duct features and capability. And then we're going to focus more on showcasing the Fabrication STMEP uh, features and capabilities. So uh, let's just jump right into it. We'll start off, as mentioned, how to draw in Fabrication CAD MEP. Just to give you a little background, fabrication CAD MEP is typically used by designers to create fabrication intent models 
for piping, plumbing, and ductwork systems, models, models that uh, originate mainly in AutoCAD, AutoCAD MEP, Revit, or Fabrication CAM duct MEP, CAD MEP can be used to start as starting points uh, to add the necessary information to the designs and make the designs fabrication ready. So uh, when starting a drawing in fabrication CAD MEP, make sure that you set the service you would like to draw in the service and sections palette. Then the next step would be to uh, make sure that you tick enter by size in the design entry on the database. And uh, one can now use design line or they can use the service palette to draw. So um, we're gonna get right into it and I'm gonna show you how to actually carry this out. Uh, so first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead into our service and um, uh, sections and we're gonna select HVAC. And then we're gonna go in there and go to the database. Uh, we've got our database open there. So we're gonna go to takeoff and go to services. And once we're in services, we go to design entry and then we make sure that we, we select or tick the enter, 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 uh, um, enter by size. So as you can see what I'm doing now, I'm making sure that every service in the HVAC is entered by size. I'm making sure that it's ticked and it's done. So I'm just doing for the last few here, just making sure that all services are ticked under HVAC. I'm making sure that that's done for supply air, for fresh air, and for outside air. Once that is done, we're gonna go down and click apply, and then we're gonna go and click okay. Uh, click okay. And now we can actually start off and draw. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to the design line, new design line in the tab, as you can see, it's right here. I'm gonna click that, new design line. I'm gonna click this. And then once it's clicked, it will open up this uh, uh, pop-up and then I will basically give it a, an elevation height so we're gonna maybe let's type in, for instance, uh, 5,000, which is the height from the ground. And then from there, we'll give it a size. So okay, let's give it 700, 700 millimeters. And then we'll give it a height, a height of about 500. And then once that's done, we can click on design line and then there we go. We basically draw like this. As you can see, I've started drawing. Once you draw, it basically populates with hangers. So as you can see, it's populating as I draw. As I move up, down in any direction, it basically populates and uh, gives me my hangers and uh, also populates the correct duct sizes as per the database. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually draw with uh, what's in the, 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 the palette there on the side. So I'm gonna select the straight and it's gonna give me uh, this pop-up. This pop-up actually shows me the size and then I'm gonna click okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and start drawing. Uh, this is the attacher. I just wanna show you something about the attacher. It basically shows in which direction is the, 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 the duct going with the small arrow. So right now I'm going to add straights in order to continue straight. And then I'm gonna add an elbow. So it goes in the direction of the small arrow. So I'm continuing adding straights, adding an elbow there. And then let me change the direction here. So I'm gonna click on my attacher. And then as you can see, it goes up and then it goes to uh, downwards. So I'm gonna add an elbow there. Let me add the elbow, click there. And then once it's added, I can add another straight continuing down. And I actually wanna show you guys how to actually make it go up. So it's the blue is basically going up. So I've added an elbow going up now, and then I'm adding a straight going up. So I'm gonna actually have to show you in 3D, how does it actually look? So let me just go to that view. As you can see, that's how it looks now. And let's continue now, I'm gonna add an elbow. So let's change our attacher and make it uh, go outwardly. 
I'm clicking on the attacher and then there we add an elbow and then we're going to add a straight, a few straights. So that's basically how you actually draw in fabrication CAD MEP. So the next step, we're going to actually go into exporting to fabrication S MEP and fabrication CAM dot. So first and foremost, we're going to start off by basically renumbering the system. So uh, let, let's, let's give you some background. One can export the model uh, data from CAD MEP to CAM dot S MEP for estimation uh, purposes. The uh, uh, procedure for exporting to CAD uh, CAM dot and S MEP are basically the same. Uh, so let's just jump in right into it. Let me show you guys how to actually do it. So we're going to start off by renumbering. So we're going to right click and go to CAD MEP. And then we're going to go to renumber. Renumber it and we're going to give it a number. So our duct numbering has to have numbers. So we'll give it A1 and make sure that we've ticked these boxes that I've ticked right here. Just make sure that we've ticked them and then we're gonna click OK. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, hover over the first, uh, the starting uh, duct. So we're gonna make sure that once you select it in the center, it actually selects the whole duct run. So once that uh, that's done, we're gonna move to the side and basically click enter or type enter. And as you can see, we've got our numbers there. We've got A1, A2, A3, and A4. And we're gonna just go right to A5. And then I'm gonna go right to the end and show you guys uh, a26 so there are 26 pieces in this duct run and uh, now i'm going to show you how to actually export so we're going to go right click and uh, cat mep again and then click cam and then select the whole duct uh, run or the whole duct system and then we're going to give it a name and as we give it a name i'm going to call it Da fabrication square. No, let me just call it uh, fabrication ducts. I'm gonna call it that. And then from there, I'm gonna save it. So uh, basically what we've done, we've actually exported into MAJ. So an MAJ file has a dynamic link to the database and will uh, update. So when I say updates, I mean that if the database is updated, the MAJ file will also be updated. You can also export to ESJ or an ESJ file uh, if you want to. Uh, the difference between an ESJ file and an MAJ file is that uh, the ESJ file does not update to the latest database and the MAJ file actually does. So uh, that's the one that uh, I recommend you use. Moving right along, uh, now I'm going to showcase the uh, fabrication cam duct features and capabilities. Um, the features that cam duct actually has, cam duct can uh, arrange a flat pattern to be cut from uh, pieces of sheet metal for maximum efficiency and minimum waste. Automatic and manual nesting uh, options are offered by cam duct. Uh, cam duct can also send NC code to decoilers. Uh, to decoilers to decoil uh, ducts for uh, fabricate uh, full to actually fabricate full length ducts. So uh, let me uh, jump right into it and uh, show you how that's done. Autodesk Fabrication Cam Duct is a powerful HVAC manufacturing and ductwork fabrication software, as well as a, a production uh, management tool used to efficiently produce HVAC systems. Cam duct uses libraries of 3D parametrics, fix, fixtures, and um, fittings to help you meet the manufacturing requirements. So in this video, let's go ahead. Let me show you guys how to actually do it. So we start off with the file that we've actually brought out from uh, CAD MEP. We're going to open that uh, MAJ file. As you can see, it's opened. Here are the pieces from A1 to A26. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what actually happens there. So now here is the actual uh, duct piece. Uh, uh, 
I can basically show you the details. I can develop it. Let me show you how to actually develop it. I've developed it there and you can see what it's going to look like when it's being cut. Um, I can also go back and uh, show you guys the quick takeoff. Uh, the quick takeoff actually shows you guys the, the actual that uh, system. Uh, I can actually view it uh, in case you need to view something or just be certain about something in, in, in terms of checking. And then now we can now move on. Uh, let me show you guys the um, items folder. The items folder is basically the duct pieces or the database itself. We're gonna go back to the uh, job. Uh, so what else, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, the other ducts. Now we're gonna move on and develop this one. I actually wanted to develop this one so I can show you guys that it actually shows the holes there. So we're gonna to go to automatic nesting and make sure that we set it up properly. Uh, you just have to make sure these tabs, you set it up as per your requirements or whatever the machine you want to cut uh, requires. You can also have add more things that you want uh, in the order. So there's a, an available table there that you can move more things into the order on your right hand side. And then uh, after doing that, we can just click OK, and then it's going to run in an automatic uh, nesting. There we go. Now that's finally done. Now we can go in and I can show you the pieces. You can actually see the pieces uh, that will be cut uh, from each nest. So here's another one. Here's more pieces. I'm going to close this one and show you another piece. So you guys actually see what it looks like. Here's another piece with some tapered pieces also. And then, yeah, I think that's about it for uh, the cam duct feature. Uh, now we're going to move on to showcasing uh, fabrication est MEP features and capabilities. So the features include uh, enhanced real world content pricing and costing, access uh, Access, uh, it basically accesses a library of real content pricing and costing data for more accurate costing estimates and analysis. Tracking project uh, also uh, uh, variations. You can also um, uh, check variations based basically on add-ons and omits. You can basically check your, 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 your omits and your add-ons a lot easier. So uh, let me tell you more about uh, the, the, the software. Uh, Autodesk Fabrication SDMP is a cost um, estimating software that, uh, that lets mechanical, electrical, and plumbing contractors produce more accurate cost estimates for MEP building systems projects throughout the detailing, fabrication, and installation workflows. So I'm going to show you guys a video of uh, how to use STMEP. So with regards to STMEP, we're going to go ahead and open the same MAJ file that we created. And then we're going to open that. Once that's open, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, basically can firstly open um, the ducts. I can show how the ducts open in this so that you can critique and see each, each one. So there are the ducts. So it's the noise. Here are the ducts, the tapered ones, different sizes. So I'm gonna to go to the 3D viewer. Uh, STMEP also has a 3D viewer in order for you to just, in case you just want to check something out and make sure that it is as, as you want it, you can basically come here and actually view that. And then uh, I'm gonna show you guys in the database, you can also set your currency. You can set to what currency uh, that you use in that country. There's dollars, there's czar, there's, there's all types of currencies that you can use. And then you can go into costing. When we're going to costing, we're going to check out the different settings uh, that you can set basically the costing that you might want to add in terms of labor and all these things. So um, this one is basically for, uh, the labor, I'm just gonna go down here and just view all the options that you have for the labor one. And then the fixed, the fixed costs, the labor one, you can basically adjust these uh, fees to the 
fees that you would like to add. And then in the information, you, as you can see, I can see uh, the quantity, the area, the weight of uh, the whole system. And I can see how much it's actually going to cost. And I can customize this and add certain things that I also want to add to the job. And there are a few tabs that you can add more information about the job, uh, uh, where you're going to ship it to and uh, where it might be going and things like things of that nature. And then the summary, uh, you can basically see all the, 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 the amounts basically in, in this tab, all the amounts that you might need to add or amounts that are, uh, or how much this whole system will cost. So that's basically it. And these are the features and that's what this can do. Now uh, it's Q&A. Thanks. That was actually really insightful. And uh, you know, I have to admit that all these different technologies and how they actually come together is actually quite exciting. And we are seeing a lot of changes within the industry on people mm -hmm. actually adopting, as we say, the trifecta. And uh, you know, it's, it's quite exciting what's also coming. Um, guys, as mentioned, um, we would like to run a Q&A session. We have a couple of questions already from a few people. But if you have any questions, please put them for us in the Q&A box and we'll do our best to obviously answer them. Nsako, um, so it looks like we already have, let's start with the first question anyway. It says, uh, does S um, EST map um, CAMDUCK and the other packages um, come as a package? Um, let's just double check this. So what they're probably asking is, is that does Fabrication CAD MEP estimate and CAMDUCK um, come together in one package or are they separate packages? No, they're basically separate packages. Uh, they, they, they have different licenses. Okay. And how do they yeah. go getting access to those licenses? Uh, you, you basically have to buy a package with us, basically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, that's fine. Um, we have another question here. Uh, this one's from Cabello. Cabello says, will Estimate MEP work using AutoCAD or only with Revit? Uh, with regards to that, um, with CAD MEP, you, you do need a fabrication CAD MEP in order to produce an MAJ file. So with Revit, you can also create an MAJ file. Uh, but you'll need an add-on for that to export from Revit to an MAJ file, which will be, be used in EST MEP. Okay. So it, it does correlate, but you, you actually need to use the, the correct software in order to, to have that. And following on to that, we have a similar question. It says, does Fabrication CAD MEP require a separate license then for AutoCAD? That's from Gert? Mm, yes, it does. It does. It requires a separate license. Um, okay. So got a question here also from yep. Johan. Um, Johan says, is it faster to customize fabricated parts using AutoCAD MEP or CAMDUCT? Uh, I, I didn't get the last part there. Can you repeat that for me? Is it faster to customize fabricated parts using AutoCAD MEP or CAMDUCT? Um, for me, I think it would be faster with CAMDUCT. As I've showcased, um, uh, no, 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 no. I think you mean in terms of producing a drawing, right? If I'm catching that question correctly. I think so too also. Yeah. So with regards to producing a drawing, CAD MEP would obviously be the fastest way to actually produce a drawing. With regards to CAMDUCT, you can basically set up your database as you want it to, to be set. And then you can come to a uh, CAD MEP and, and, and produce your drawing as quick as possible. As I've shown you the two ways to actually produce a drawing for ducts, mainly. Okay, that's great. That's yeah. great news there. And uh, guys, is there any more questions uh, that we possibly have? Anything else that you want to basically elaborate on at all, Ntako? No, I think that's about it on my side. Okay. Oh, yeah, we go. Yeah, we've got the, we've got, it looks probably the last question anyway. Um, this is from Thomas. Thomas says, is there a best practice workflow for using these Revit, CAMDUCT, and CAD MEPs? Um, and where can we find out more? Um, 
Thomas, actually, I'll answer this one. And Taka, we certainly can obviously yeah. help develop the correct workflow for the, obviously your business. So please just get in contact with me after the meeting. We'll schedule a meeting with yourself um, and um, Taka can come through and do a presentation demo for you and actually show you um, some of the functionality behind it. And we can put together a workflow that's obviously best suited to your business. Yeah, true. Um, does Moderna also provide training on all the fabrication products you have mentioned? This is also coming from Anonymous. Mm -hmm. We actually do. We can mm -hmm. help. Part of our training is actually customized to your um, processes and workflows. Um, again, please get in contact with me or Dino or Nsako. Um, after the webinar, drop us an email or give us a call and we can have a look at exactly what type of training uh, you'd actually need and how we can help implement it within your business. And Sako, is there any questions on your side that you can see? No, I'm not seeing anything on my side. Are you seeing anything? Uh, we've got one more here. Here we go. Um, <laughs> actually, it's great. We've had some good, great, interesting questions today. It says... Yeah. Uh, how well do you need to know Revit or AutoCAD actually use these fabrication products? Uh, this looks like it's again also come from Anonymous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you basically have to know uh, the services. So knowing AutoCAD or Revit, uh, I'd say you, you at least have to know the fundamentals. As soon as you, you know your fundamentals, you should be able to carry out uh, a drawing in uh, these uh, fabrication softwares. And would you recommend that on the, the, the type of training that the guys would need for um, for the fabrication products, as long as they have got a fundamentals understanding of AutoCAD or Revit or Revit? Most definitely. I, I, I'd recommend a fundamentals training within these three softwares in order for you to at least know uh, the keys and what to actually do and how to actually use the the, the the interface or the software. And I think also the benefit actually comes into it because we also do know that, especially something like Revit is very powerful. I mean, you've got the architectural yeah. side, you've got the MEP side of it and the structural yeah, yeah. side. I think what where the advantage comes into it is because you know we're very familiar with all these tools and it's something that you and uh, your the MEP team have done is put together a customized training for guys that it's relevant to their obviously industry. You know, so yeah. it's not a matter that we can we'd say, go do a full fundamentals course. Let us help you put together a structured, um, mm -hmm. call it a startup um, fabrication training for the guys. So, you know, if it's something that you guys would like to know a little bit more of, please reach out to us and uh, we'll be able to help and assist you on that. But um, Nsako, I think, you know, it's been a really great session again today. And thanks very much for all the information over the last couple of weeks. And we're quite excited about your masterclass that's going to be uh, in there within the next few weeks. So guys, please be look out for the email and the um, content that we're going to also be sharing on LinkedIn and our different social media platforms. We just, again, like to thank you all for joining us um, today. We hope that the topics we've covered has been insightful. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to get in contact with us. But uh, from my side, I'd like to say thanks again, Taco. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. And uh, we look forward to you joining us for the next sessions. Thank you, guys. Have a great day, everyone. Chat soon. Bye. Uh -huh.